Welcome to Adjectives Lesson 2. Just as a review, what are adjectives? Adjectives are a part of speech. They add description to the noun in the sentence. A noun is the person, place, or thing. Last time, we talked about how adjectives can describe a noun's size. So we're going to look at some size words. Just to give us a reference, let's use the sentence, the blank man. So we could say, the stout man, the miniature man, the average man, the short man, the small man, the beefy man, the muscular man, the tall man, the puny man, the vertically challenged man, the chubby man, the towering man, the petite man, the scrawny man, the gigantic man, the skinny man, or the stocky man. Now I want you to fill in the adjective in this sentence. The dog chased the cat. We're looking for a size adjective here. You can use one of the ones we talked about on the last slide, or you can come up with your own. Now, we're going to talk about some color adjectives, and we're going to describe a hummingbird using the sentence, the hummingbird. We could use words like majestic hummingbird, colorful hummingbird, eye-catching hummingbird, scarlet hummingbird, vibrant hummingbird, showy, hummingbird, vivid hummingbird, glowing hummingbird, striking hummingbird, jazzy hummingbird, blue hummingbird, rainbow hummingbird, translucent hummingbird, or rich hummingbird. Now I want you to add a color adjective to this sentence using one of the ones listed on the slide or one of your own. The wedding was surrounded by a sky. This time we're going to talk about shape adjectives while describing a house. Let's use the phrase, the house. Here are some shape describing words. Deep, refined, hollow house, flat house, narrow house, shallow house, square house, rectangular house, boxy house, wide house, crooked house, round house, or wide house. Fill in the blank with a shape adjective. The mountain stood in front of us. Next, let's take a look at some good mood or manner adjectives. These would be positive feelings. Let's describe a lady using the phrase, the lady. We could use wonderful lady, lively lady, calm lady, obedient lady, witty lady, polite, lady, 
proud lady, courteous lady, excited lady, gentle lady, delightful lady, kind lady, faithful lady, jolly lady, or brave lady. Now it's your turn to fill in the blank with a positive, good mood or manner adjective. The cat rubbed against my leg. We're going to use the same phrase, the lady, but this time we're going to talk about bad mood or manner words. So negative feelings. Okay, let's look at the words. Angry, clumsy lady, lazy lady, disobedient lady, scary lady, fierce lady, helpless lady, grumpy lady, pitiful lady, worried lady. Nervous lady, rude lady, jealous lady, anxious lady, and disgusted lady. Fill in the blank with a negative feeling word, a bad mood or manner. The bird squawked at him. Here's the type of adjective that we didn't talk about last time. Sound adjectives, words that can describe things like music. We're going to use the phrase, the music. Here are some words, deafening music, crashing music, peaceful music, purring music, melodic music, raspy music, whining music, screeching music, wailing music, whispering music, shrilling music, loud music, rhythmic music, or noisy music. Now it's your turn to fill in the blank with a sound adjective. The Baby made everyone stare. Another type of adjective we did not discuss last time were time adjectives. Words that could describe things like a party. The party could be described as an ancient party old-fashioned party, brief party, early party, fast party, swift party, prehistoric party, slow party, late party, modern party, short party, quick party, long party, rapid party, or drawn out party. Fill in this sentence with a time adjective. I enjoyed the ride on the train. Here's another new type of adjective, taste. Words that we can use to describe a meal. So let's use the phrase, the breakfast and see what kind of taste adjectives there are. We have bitter breakfast, acidic breakfast, salty breakfast, yummy breakfast, putrid breakfast, nutty breakfast, moldy breakfast, tasteless breakfast, hot breakfast, 
disgusting breakfast, fresh breakfast, spicy breakfast, tart breakfast, savory breakfast, delicious breakfast, juicy breakfast, and cold breakfast. Use your own words or one of the words we just talked about to fill in this sentence. The caterers made a meal. Now we're going to talk about touch adjectives or feelings. Let's describe the floor using the phrase the flooring. Here are some words. Breezy flooring, freezing flooring, greasy flooring, wet flooring, rough flooring, uncomfortable flooring, uneven flooring, sharp flooring, slimy flooring, warm flooring, prickly flooring, hard flooring, hot flooring, icy flooring, damaged flooring, bumpy flooring, or cold flooring. A lot of those words were on the negative side. So let's look at a few more words that might be a little bit more positive. Soft, squishy, fluffy, comfortable, plush, or smooth. Fill in the blank in this sentence with a touch adjective. The frog jumped into the pond. Let's talk about quantity adjectives, describing how many of things there are. Using the phrase, there were flowers. I might need to add in a few extra words. Numerous flowers, abundant flowers, some flowers, few flowers, millions of flowers, most flowers, a substantial amount of flowers, little flowers, sparse flowers, limited flowers, many flowers, billions of flowers, dozens of flowers, or zero flowers. Of course, you can always use a specific number, such as three, five, 20. Fill in this sentence with a quantity word using one of the words given to you or one of your own. The voices filled the stadium. Now we're going to go over appearance adjectives or how something looks. There are so many words that could work for this, but we're just gonna go over a few. Let's use the phrase, the dress. We could describe it as an attractive dress, Fancy dress, glamorous dress, long dress, plain dress, beautiful dress, magnificent dress, clean dress, unsightly dress, drab dress, shapely dress, short dress, darling dress ugly dress, or a dazzling dress. Fill in this sentence with an appearance adjective. The woman walked down the street. 
great work today. We'll see you next time.